And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time we're looking at the numbers, a cryptography challenge. Description, the numbers, and we're given a file that I've already downloaded. What do they mean? And the hint is the flag is in the form Pico CTF curly brackets. So let's go ahead. I already have the numbers open right here. So what we can see is there's a series of numbers, a curly bracket, a curly bracket. So I think it's a fair guess that these correspond to different letters of the alphabet. Uh, another way that you could know that is you could look at the range of numbers that you see present here. So alphabet numbers go for, or alphabet letters. There are 26 of them, so you, you'd expect it to run to 26. And we can see we run to about 20 here. So this would be a P, I, C, O. Yeah, this is this is very boring and monotonous. You know, you could you could lay out an alphabet like this, and then you could slowly work your way through. But I would much rather uh, automate this because you know, for non-trivial stuff, you're going to have to, and you know, you might as well learn stuff. I think it's very valuable to have a language where it's like this is my just just getting shit done language. And uh, I've been using Python for a while. It's been pretty good to me. So let's look at what I'm doing over here in alphabet.py. I'm importing the strings library because I'm going to start creating a message. And that message consists of all these numbers. So I just wrote down the numbers that I saw over here, 16, 9, 13, 15. Those are all in an array. I'm going to iterate over that array. So I will take on each one of these values. And then there's this string dot ASCII underscore uppercase that's super helpful. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to start debugging this right now, what it does. So if we go down to the debug console and I do string dot ASCII uppercase, you can see it gives me the string of all the uppercase letters. And so if I reference something like zero, we'll get A. One will give me B, etc. So I've got a bunch of numbers that correspond to different positions in the alphabet. The only little uh, catch here is just this is one based. So you can see, for example, uh, this says that C is three. And you know, yeah, if, if you count by one, sure, one, two, three, but most programming is zero based, meaning the first entry is zero, then one, then two. So that's what that negative one is doing. So we're gonna just grab each value and slowly build up our message. So you can see it there, Pico, I'm gonna just let it run through to the bottom. Uh, it's getting stuck there for some reason. There we go. So we see Pico CTF, the numbers, Mason. Let's go ahead, go over here. And submit this guy with curlies. Bada bing, bada boom. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.